So what do we have with uh, Blender and its uh, structuring for your architectural design? So it's a plenty of um, different tools. So first we have the different versions of our design. So, and uh, we are able to go through there. Then we have the different uh, cameras for that. So the different views. So how to look at it. So then we have the different uh, ways of rendering that. It's here. So go to the other version. So then um, <clears throat> we have the outline here. So we uh, say we have building one, building is uh, with floors, floor one, with all the construction modules, with the facade modules. So then we have the camera and so on. So go <clears throat> then, that's the outline. So it's the hierarchical structure of it. Here we have the different links to databases and the parameterization of it. So we have these objects and uh, we see what are the, uh, the groups, we have all the materials, we have the meshes uh, connected and so on. So, or we have the different aspects, so the layer of our design. So for example, this is uh, just the stage. This is aspect one, aspect two. So, or we can go to the different uh, levels of resolution. So we had this kind of inheritance. So we go to prototype, we go here. So now we uh, see our, our modules on um, level of detail uh, one. This is uh, level of detail zero. So now if we go, for example, to the facade the elements here, and uh, we see uh, the facade here. This is linked to uh, plane one. This is a database of uh, the meshes. This is a database of the different materials linked to that. So and then we say uh, facade module should be displayed in uh, a level of detail 2 or level of detail 1. So go here and say level of detail 1. Here we have different alternatives for the facade. So go here and see another alternative. Uh, level of, uh, there's um, another facade, level of detail 1. Here level of detail 1. Go for the, these are the facade elements. Go the same for the construction modules, uh, level of detail 1. Go here for level of detail one. So if we now go to layout here, we see uh, what we have. So we have a very abstract view to uh, our uh, building, level of detail one. So this is uh, layout two with the camera one. So if we want to go to, <coughs> to another uh, level of detail, then we have to go here back uh, to our elements, say it's module one, it should be visible, level of detail uh, two, which corresponds to uh, level here. So modules column is as well. Now with facade, router is uh, different. So go here. So to see what I want to show you, it's a lot of things are possible but it's getting very messy. Somehow, now we go to, and here uh, we are with the full detailed, uh, uh, and orthogonal to that are the aspects. So take, uh, take the, uh, so one or just this level layer get rid of the, uh, the environment. So what I want to say is, in principle, all these things are possible, but it looks like that an interface has no consistency. You have to turn your, your uh, model, which of the different aspects, 
uh, uh, outlines uh, of the different inheritance, classifications, groupings, and so on. You have to turn that. And depending on how you turn it, all these interfaces somehow pop up and you have to keep that. It's a kind of virtual way how to, to deal with it. It's not really intuitive. If every single step is intuitive, but keep control over these things is very complicated. And the question is, what you have is structuring your architectural design. Is it, a, can it be addressed with interfaces, with designed interface? And my hypothesis is it isn't. So, so this interface here now is a kind of geometry. And it's not this kind of uh, Euclidean geometry how to do these things. Now, the alternative uh, around there is always here, for example, grasshoppers. And you can you see these kind of uh, network mishmash uh, production lines of things. We have the same in, uh, with the node uh, systems in, in Blender to control the flow of uh, media and, uh, and surfaces and so on. And again, this is, look at this, to control these things, it's getting messy. It's, it's, uh, you don't have a clue how these mesh and nodes really uh, work. It's a complicated uh, structure. Especially, and this is what I want to show you, if you understand that this, for example, is the code for a scene like this. So, and we will we'll go to that. And this is a very comprehensive view of whatever you do. So you say, we create a, a scene, a prototype. So this is the outline. This is the outline, which uh, we'll, you see, we'll see here. Prototype is of scene. Building is uh, parented by scene. Building A gets to floor, floor one. Building A gets to floor two. Then you have the offset. So in Z direction, floor two is, uh, is um, higher than floor, uh, floor one. So then you go for the materials. We have red material, aubergine and raspberry. Then you go for the meshes, icosphere, cube. Then you create a group. This is for inheritance, an object. M1 is mesh icosphere, color, aubergine, uh, uh, layer prototypes, then give it some coordinates and the layers. Add it to module one, so it's a group for inheritance, M1 to module one. Then you create another object. This is with of the uh, cube, raspberry prototypes. You have a matrix for the coordinates and that's it. These coordinates uh, will be treated later to simplify that. Then add this again to a module. Then this is a group as we had it. Now instantiate this group, module A. Uh, name it M01, put it to floor 1, 0, 0. Make another copy on floor 2. So then again, so now we go to, uh, to a structure even more developed than uh, our extended example. Because now we create another group, it's building A. So, and uh, we add this module here to building A and this module to building A as well. So this is another class. And now we create three buildings on the scene, which is here. And that's it. If you look at it, you see all this is uh, there. And it's, um, it's, uh, Inherited, so you simply can say we have the icosphere. This is our structure. We go through the material. These are aubergine, raspberry, red, and so on. Or we go then for our prototypes. Uh, go here. We can go for the cube. If we want to uh, modify that, we can G, Z, and you see they all are inherited in these uh, special groups. So now we go for building A. If we have floor here, we can move it. Yeah. Inheritance on multiple levels. So therefore, my hypothesis is <coughs> um, it's not these interfaces for architectural design. It's proper for, for uh, design, for designing objects. 
it's not this kind of production. This is the production of design objects. The most adequate way to organize your design and keep control of what is going on is simply this code. Here everything is uh, very clear. And if you have hundreds of them, you will write some algorithms or tables or databases for that. You will have the same here. And by that you keep uh, control of what's going on. Then run this, uh, this script and to get uh, the uh, graphical rendering for that. But this is what you really want. Code. Therefore, I invite you for the next few uh, tutorials, which gives you an introduction how you can uh, integrate design with Blender and its interfaces, inclusive uh, this uh, node and connection of node. And then to control this on the architectural level, this is with uh, coding. We will have that uh, in Python, first level, and then uh, go to Mathematica because it's even much more uh, um, adequate to uh, organize your things in the lambda calculus instead of the uh, procedural or imperative uh, Python language. Thanks for watching. Hope you find interest in the next level of architectural design.